Hey guys, welcome to Alice and Anna. My name is Anna, and it's been a while since I've uploaded something to the channel, so hello, hello, I'm happy to be back. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how I broke in my Doc Martin. I think I'm behind on the whole trend because I am indeed in an art school, but I did not get my Doc Martens until this year, so my graduation year. And I ended up getting the Jaden boot with a platform. I really like these because they have a zipper, which is so so convenient because Doc Martens are stiff, very stiff. Obviously, like you can break you break them in, and that's the whole point about this video. But when you go to someone's house, especially in the UK, you take your shoes off and when you put them back on and you're saying goodbye, it's just really awkward to just sit there for a while and like, you know, take the laces off and put your foot in and then put the laces back on. So zipper. This is the best part about this boot, the zipper. Like, I, I guess I could do like a quick review of them, but like, I love them. They're just so, so cute. They look good with absolutely everything. They can look cute with a dress, with your jeans, with shorts, with whatever. It doesn't have, like, it can be really fancy or it can be just, like, chill. So I definitely love and recommend the Doc Martens. They also say that they last forever. They're a little bit banged up right now because I took them to a concert yesterday, but they really, really, really are high maintenance. And once you break them in, they're very comfortable, so you can wear them. For example, yesterday at the concert, I had the best time ever. We left the house at, like, I want to say 5. We didn't come back home until like 11 and my feet were totally fine and even with this platform it's even better because I am not that tall and then that way I can see a lot more at the top. So definitely something that I like. Great reviews and whatever but like breaking them in is so hard and I knew because everybody tells you that whenever they talk about like Doc Martens and getting them and blah 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 all those things but I feel like everybody is a little bit different and everybody has their different methods about how to break them in and I tried them pretty much all of them I recorded quite a few like clips of me trying to break them in with different methods and every single time I was like I hope this is the one I hope this is the one and it just never really happened when I bought the boots I also got these thick socks from Dr. Martens as well. I really like them. I do not at all regret this purchase. This was pretty good. They're really thick and they're pretty as well. And I would start off by wearing short socks, long socks, and then these ones. So I would start by wearing three pairs of socks, really loose uh, shoelaces, and just wear them inside the house when I was watching TV, when I was cooking, and just kind of like starting to move my feet around. I think that was good for the initial like shock of such a stiff boot. It was the winter so it was fine for me to wear so much of, of like so many socks but to actually wear it outside it wasn't comfortable it was like it was just too stuffy so I moved on to the whole heat them up a little bit but not too close kind of thing um, and then wear them. That didn't really work for me don't recommend that at all and I'm also really really terrified of ruining the boots because they're expensive boots you know and obviously that's not covered under warranty so I did not do that um, I did it like two times maybe didn't work um, and then I just kept wearing it with a lot of socks I eventually lowered it to two socks and I was just wearing them anywhere where I just went for a short period of time so obviously I did not wear them to work I only wore them to, for example, we went to see the Nutcracker and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the bus there and it leaves me right outside so I don't have to walk too much. And then I wore them in the theater and then back. But you can feel that stiffness and it's just very uncomfortable. So that's why it was like short periods of time only. Um, and then something really funny happened, which was like a coin getting. I basically sprained my ankle. And you can see that in a vlog that I did when I went to Mexico in January. And so I sprained my ankle and by that point my boots were something that I really 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 wanted to wear. It was winter, they looked great with everything, but they were still hurting me while walking. Like they were fine when I was wearing them, but while walking it was just still very painful, especially in this area over here. And so I was just trying to force myself to wear them to break them in. Like I did not care 
about my feet. And so, when you sprain your ankle, they put an ankle bracelet, or whatever it's called. Uh, ankle brace? I don't know what it is. Um, but I was wearing my ankle brace, and walking with that for, I don't know, maybe two or three days, completely broken my boots. Like, I don't know what it was about it, about it. I don't have the brace here to show you what it is, but I'm gonna try and find a photo of it. It's, it's kind of like a sock, but it was just kind of thicker, and it was like, much more protected because it had a little bit more like a little bit more structure because of the velcro that was on it and that just seemed to break my left boot in so i swapped it once my ankle was fine and i used it on the right side and it broke it in so my technique was literally wearing an ankle brace now i don't have to wear anything i think i wore the ankle brace for about two to three days on each foot and that broke it in and now I only wear these socks. Like, I don't have to wear even like the small socks at all. Just these ones are enough. The only thing I do have to say that I still haven't figured out how to break in is the top part. So if I wear a sock that is not this one and it's lower, this really like hurts my, my skin. So unless I'm wearing obviously like jeans or tights or anything like that. So I don't know how to break that in yet because it's literally like while you're walking but other than that everything else has broken it so my method is get something as thick as a sock like a winter sock but with more structure if you don't have an ankle brace get bandages and literally bandage your foot don't do it too tight because obviously this is still your foot don't get hurt but it just gives more structure to your feet and it makes it your feet stiffer and much more protected so you can walk longer distances and the boot will actually break in because they have, like something is fighting back the stiffness of the boot. Or you can just buy secondhand um, doctor methods. That's also something smart to do. But anyways, that's pretty much my discovery and I hope it works for you, especially if you just bought Dr. Martens. I know that the first thing that you want to do is wear them out. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with them and I, I cannot, like if you're thinking about it, I cannot recommend it enough. It's just going through this horrible stage of breaking them in and then once you've passed that, it is the best investment you've ever done. Like, I mean, obviously I haven't worn it for over a year. Um, but they still look good as new and I I am horrible with shoes. I destroy them in seconds. So I am very impressed and I really like them. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was super useful. And if you know any tips at all, please leave them down below in the comment section so everybody can see them. And if you like this video, give us a like because it would really, really, really help us. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Don't miss out on any of those videos that we upload every week. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.